I desperately tried to film this intro and outro outside so we wouldn't be in the same exact spot <laughs> with the same angle, uh, it didn't happen. So here we are. Welcome to the February vlog. Hopefully this one is a little bit different than last time because I'm still figuring stuff out. The goal was to make it very art oriented. Uh, however, I really didn't do much like good art this month. So didn't really happen. But uh, things might be a little different. They also might not be. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's go. Let's see. Got Kelsey's live stream on in the background. I have to turn that off. We're having a lot of wind. I'm sure you can hear it in the way it's absolutely beating on my window. I apologize. <laughs> I really quickly wanted to hop on because the discussion that I really want to have, and I tried to have it in the last vlog, but I was super disorganized for the last vlog, so I didn't really have it then either, um, is just how much like YouTube like numbers are affecting me lately and how much I am struggling against the algorithm right now. So I just released my first studio vlog this morning and I was really excited. I have had super high hopes for the, stu for the studio vlogs. Um, I've been talking about it for months to like planning with like my family and friends and talking about how like this is gonna be my thing in 2022 that like really like helps my channel. Like this is gonna be the thing that happens to me in 2022. I bought a new camera almost specifically for the purpose of being able to do monthly studio vlogs or studio vlogs in general. And I kept talking about how like, oh, like justifying the purchase by it's gonna pay for itself with the studio vlogs. The studio vlogs will pay for it. And I just had like super high hopes. I've been like noticing how other like really small creators, their videos will do really, really well just because it's like a pretty thumbnail with the word studio vlog and like studio vlog just do well for everyone like that tries. And I was like, okay, this will be it. Like this will really, really help me reach a wider audience. It'll be diverse content. It'll be different. Um, it'll help, like it'll be beneficial for everyone. And I was really, really excited. So when I posted it this morning, I was really, really excited. I worked really, really hard on the thumbnail. I thought it looked so cute. I was in love with the thumbnail. I knew what the title was gonna be. Um, I was really happy with it. It went live this morning and I got my ranking. It takes about 30 minutes for you to get your rank of like your one out of 10 for the videos. And my heart dropped. It was at seven out of 10. Like literally my heart was in my stomach. I was so upset and I was trying really hard like not to like let it get to me, <laughs> not to be upset. But when my, my hopes were so high, like I didn't think that it was gonna blow up and I was gonna gain a million subscribers overnight, but I thought that it would just do well, like be a really good performing video. Like I was hoping for like a three or a two out of 10. So to see seven was disappointing, like really disappointing. I kind of rationalized that like maybe the thumbnail is just so different looking, like this isn't the kind of thing that normally goes on my channel. So maybe that's why it's just, it's just different. And so people don't, aren't clicking on it as much. I was in the thumbnail, which normally for me, that doesn't do well, just cause that's not what I normally do. So I changed the thumbnail to something that resembled my other thumbnails a little bit more. And I changed the title and I've been, I've been going back and forth. I've been changing the titles and the thumbnail like all day, which I'm sure is annoying to people, but like, I'm just trying to figure out like what works. And because of like the change and talking about it on my social media and being like, Hey, go watch the video. It's now up to five out of 10, which I feel much better about, but is still way less than what I was really hoping for. I feel like I'm really caught between a rock and a hard place because I, on one side, I don't want to worry about the numbers as much. I don't want it to get me this badly. I literally, I had so much that I was planning on doing today and it put me in such a bad headspace that I knew that if I did any of those things, I would do them badly. So I have to put them off because I know I can't mesh those things up. And I don't want to worry about that. I don't want to be worrying about the numbers so much that it literally ruins the whole day for me. I don't want to care that a video isn't, like not every video is going to be one out of 10. There are going to be flop videos. Like that's just the truth of the, of the situation. Like there's going to be bad videos sometimes. Uh, I just didn't want it to be this one. <laughs> but on the other hand, the reason I am so upset and the reason that it has been stressing me out so much is specifically because of the time of year that we're in. I don't know if other creators have the same problem or if it's like for some reason just me. I know that January is in general like a bad month because we're coming right off of December, which is a hugely like a huge month for everyone. Like you make a lot of money at like advertisers are like crazy. Everyone's on YouTube all the time. So December does really, really well. And in comparison, January is just like, pfft. 
But last year, I had an issue where the videos kept doing a little bit worse and a little bit worse and a little bit worse until by February, I literally wasn't even able to withdraw any money because I wasn't making enough, like you have to reach a hundred dollar threshold and I couldn't make that for like two months. And so I wasn't withdrawing money, I wasn't making any money uh, and the videos kept getting worse and worse and worse and my channel was like dead, like it was not going anywhere. And it took me a long time to crawl out of it. I don't think I really started doing better until like June. Like for a half a year, my channel was just really not doing well and I don't wanna go back there. I am so worried that it directly has to do with the time of year and I am at that time of year where last year I tanked and I'm so scared that it's gonna happen again and I'm trying so hard to avoid it. And I really thought that a studio vlog, which seems to do well for literally everyone on YouTube, would be a video that would do well for me. And because it didn't, I'm really worried that the next video will not do well. I'm no algorithm whisperer. I don't know if this is actually how it works, but the way I feel that it works is that like if one video does a little bit less, the next video is even more likely to do not good. And if that video is bad, then the next video is even more likely to do worse and then worse and then worse until I'm back where I was last year and I don't want to be there. I'm upset that the studio vlog isn't doing well because it seems to do well for everyone, but even more than that, I'm upset that it's not doing well because I'm scared that it'll make the next video do worse. But I was so sure for so long and then it didn't work, I was wrong, and it's like now I don't know what to do. If this didn't do well, the next three videos that I have, I have lined up that I think are gonna do well, maybe they're not gonna do well. And last year that sucked, but this year that feels like a death sentence because this year, I, my plan is to make this my job job. Not like my job, but like my job. Like this is going to be my career for the foreseeable future if this works. And I feel like this is kind of the last year that I, I have to make that happen. And I can't afford to lose six months of my videos being dead, my channel dying. I, I can't risk losing that time. I need that time to make this work, to make it be worthwhile. So yeah, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that, about why, like I'm just stressed about numbers and I don't wanna be, but I feel like I have to be because again, it's my job, like that's part of it. That's an inherent part of having this as your job is caring about the numbers. But also, is that good for you? Like it's not, it's not mentally, like it's not fun. <laughs> and that's just something that I feel like I need to be like aware of, um, is that I'm not letting numbers get to me and I'm not just, solely focused on numbers because if i am then you know that just leads you down the rabbit hole of like trying tiktok art hacks over and over and over and over again and i don't want that to be what my channel is so i i want to be able to make what i want to make without worrying about numbers but that's hard man that's hard but yeah we're gonna keep trucking it's whatever well okay but bye <laughs> You're so cute. You're so squinty. Hi. Hi. Okay, so I just made the announcement for my shop update and I also went to my PO box today and I actually had a package from Vograce. Vogue Race reached out to me not too long ago and they wanted to send me some stuff to like sample, to look at and uh, like review kind of. I'm not really like reviewing, reviewing, but like just to check out and it's perfect timing. As you guys know, one of the things that I really want to do this year is uh, make money. <laughs> and uh, one of the ways of doing that is like selling more stuff. I really want to diversify the products that I sell in my Etsy shop. So they sent me a sample pack of the different things that they offer, which is, is perfect. So if you haven't heard of Vogue Race, um, I'm gonna read their like about section. Uh, it's a professional anime peripheral product manufacturer and supplier. Personal artworks and patterns can be customized, specializes in custom made keychains, badges, pins, stickers, standees, tote bags, and washi tapes. So I'm really excited to see what they sent me. I have this <laughs> very securely wrapped um, package that I'm going to attempt to open. Really tape this up, okay. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, look at that. So they definitely specialize in like anime stuff, which isn't for me, 
um, but a lot of these kinds of products like keychains and washi tape are things that I've been thinking about and I've been too scared to like try. So I'm really excited to like see Oh my gosh, this is really cute. So this is how it's packaged. It looks like this would be the acrylic stand and then we've got some goodies in here. Everything looks so cute. So first we've got these two buttons. One is like sparkly and shiny and then one isn't. They both are like really good quality. I love the sparkle. I love things with like a little bit of like extra spice, you know? And then this is probably one of the things that I'm most excited for. These are keychain charms in a bunch of different like finishes and with different clasps. I have been wanting to make charms for a long time, but I just feel like my art isn't great for like, I don't know what I would make, but after seeing these, I will figure it out. I will find something to make a charm out of because oh my God, these are so cute. So first of all, there's like this kind of plasticky clasp, which is not like my favorite. Um, but we also have in gold and rose gold, we have stars and hearts. Shut up, shut up. These are so cute. And then they all have different finishes. Like this is like a reflective one. Um, this has like a weird like holographic type thing, which looks really cool. There's some clear ones. Here's a sparkly one. And this one has like a holographic star pattern, which I also really love. And then we have an enamel pin, which I'm actually, so I don't buy enamel pins. The only enamel pins that I have are insanely cheap. So I'm actually really impressed by this. Cute, very cute. Then we have a bunch of stickers, a lot of stickers with different like finishes. So we have these like holographic glow growing hearts, which are really, really, really cute. Love that. We have a like sparkly border, a metallic border. That's cool. Um, and then like regular stickers. And then there are clear stickers. And then we have the uh, acrylic, acrylic thing. I don't do cons or anything like that. So I don't know. I think it's just decoration. Like, I don't know what you would use this for. This, are you kidding me? Shut up. Shut up, that's so cute. Oh my God, this is so good. The edges are so clean, like this looks so good. And then I saved the best things for last. So again, these are a bit more convention-y type things. I can see them doing really, really well in conventions. Like I don't know if I would put them in my shop, but I am still obsessed and in love and would love a reason to buy these. So like these are, these are so cute. So here's a keychain, and it's a little vending machine. Like there are these little charms inside. This is so cute. And then my absolute favorite, we have another little keychain type thing, but it's like a little chip bag filled with these acrylic charms. It's also filled with like these little sparkly stars and like it's, it's filled up, like it's really cute. And it feels like sturdy, like I'm not worried about like damaging this. Like this is, this is so cute. Oh, oh, there's one thing I forgot. One of my other favorites, uh, the washi tape. I definitely am gonna get washi tape. Like without a doubt, I'm getting washi tape. I am really impressed by the quality and also like the stickiness is the perfect amount of sticky. And there's so much tape on this roll. I have gotten so many washi tapes that have like two feet of tape on it. If that, this looks like it's gonna last a long time. So yeah, I definitely am really impressed by the quality of everything in this box. I plan on getting some washi tape. I plan on looking into some stickers from there. And I also possibly enamel pins, but most definitely I'm getting me some keychain charms. I'm getting me, I'm getting me some charms. I cannot pass up these, these stars. This is so darn cute. Thank you again to Vogueries for sending this to me. Uh, I'm really excited to work with you in the future. If you want to check out Vogueries, all their stuff is going to be linked down below so you can click those links. <laughs> it is three o'clock. Okay, I need to go eat lunch. I did not know it was three o'clock. Bye. <laughs>like I mentioned earlier, I opened my Etsy shop this month and the support from you guys has just been so crazy. I really didn't expect it to go like this well. I obviously had high hopes and like I wanted it to do well, but I just, I just didn't think, I, I feel like most of the stuff that I sold were things that I had already been selling. So I just didn't think that like it would go so well, but it did. I ended up getting over like 50 orders in the first two or three days, which is more than I made in the first week last time I opened my shop. Uh, so that was crazy. <laughs>
and then it multiple was items sold out within the first few hours and then even more sold out within the first few days like it, so was, it was crazy order, i've already reordered a bunch of stuff um and i'm just so they excited do. that you guys these are you guys like it and it's so cool people have been like tagging like, me in like their over. stories and whatever showing like their supplies um, or their supplies these, or, like their prints arriving so this is a small order. it's so cool to see I'm so, it's just so cool to know that like my art is around the world now. Uh, but anyways, for that first batch, I had nearly like 60 orders to pack and I was excited to do it. Packaging is fun, but I was also like dreading the fact that I was going to have to spend like all day at my desk packaging. But my mom actually offered to help me. Uh, so that's what you're seeing, me and my mom packaging. She was really sweet. She spent a couple hours with me packing all the orders. Uh, so if you ordered from my shop within the first week, just know that your prints are wrapped with love for me and my mom. <laughs> but we had a great system that just made it go by like so, so much faster. And I got to use the kitchen counter. So I had like all my stuff spread out instead of like cramped at my desk. The process was just so much easier. We had, we had fun. It was a good bonding time. We watched MasterChef. Uh, and it, it just went a lot smoother than I was expecting it to. So thanks, Mom. And it was also just really cool to see like that stack of envelopes get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's it's so gratifying and rewarding and like in a way like empowering to see. Like just knowing that my art is going to so many people and so many places. My mom, every time we got an international order, she'd be like, oh my gosh, Germany. Oh my gosh, France. And like her being excited about the fact that like my art was going all over the world was getting me really excited. Uh, and it was it was just so cool. It's so cool to see. It's really exciting every time to know that like my art is going to a new place. Uh, so seriously, thank you so much. If you've bought from my shop, you really have no idea. I, you have no idea how much I appreciate it. Uh, it means so, so much to me that not only do people like like to watch my content, but my art is good enough and worthwhile enough for people to spend money on and to put on their walls and to look at every day. And like, it's, there is nothing more rewarding. As an artist, there is nothing more rewarding than, than that, honestly. But yeah, this was a major part of my month uh, and I had to do it like two more times <laughs> for all my new orders after that first really busy week. But I didn't film because honestly it gets super repetitive and boring and I think you, I, I think you get the idea from what you're seeing right now. So <laughs> I didn't film the other times that I was packaging, but I did make a few trips to the post office. And it was pretty much the only time I really left my house uh, this month was going to the post office to send these out. So thank you for giving me a reason to get outside. February vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know. I'm not even gonna, you know, comment, subscribe, like, whatever, whatever, all that stuff. I hope you had a good time. I did. It was a really weird month. It was a weird month for me. Uh, it felt very short. February is only short by like two days, and yet it still feels like I'm missing like two whole weeks. I really didn't do too much like good art. Uh, I did a lot of like scribbling and doodling. Uh, I was taking a lot of rest days. I was doing a lot of other work. Um, I was trying to keep like a good balance and I wasn't just super like overly inspired this month. So a lot of just kind of meh art. And also life has just been super, you know, boring. I don't have any friends to go see and I kind of do the same thing every day. So my vlogs, I feel like I want to keep them from being repetitive, but my days are super, super repetitive. The post office is the only place I go. It's the only time I leave the house. So I'm really excited for like, the weather getting warmer so I can go to like parks and beaches and do, you know, do something else besides sit in my room all day. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, you know, you go do your stuff, go brush your teeth, go make your bed, go do some art. <laughs>